Welcome, World Warriors. A new generation is among us, and being the unemployed teenager I am, I can't afford both of them, let alone one. This is my first time experiencing a console launch, and I keep hearing great things about both of them. I love Xbox and Sony for totally different reasons, but I figured why not put the two against each other and see which one I prefer for the next generation. The first challenge is the operating system. Many of you may know that my parents are the ones with the PS4. I have an Xbox One in my room, and that's my console. I get the PlayStation at night if I want anything. I say this because I am extremely similar with Xbox's home screen, and not so much PlayStation. From what I've heard, the Series X is literally the exact same thing, with a quick resume option for like, five games at a time. I was thinking a redesigned operating system could be nice, because of how bad it can be sometimes, but all they did was optimize it slightly, and make a new store. They needed a new store, yes, but that wasn't the problem. It's great for multiplayer, but that's really it. At the PS5's home screen, it's completely redesigned to fit the next generation. From what I've heard, it fixed the main issues I had with it. The store is built into the OS now, and it's easier to navigate while in a game. Even better, you can track achievements with video tutorials and load to the achievements from the home menu. There's even screen share. A lot of new features are included, and because of this next generation feel and them fixing my main issues with it, this point has to go to Sony. Hardware is next. The Series X is slightly faster, smaller, and sleeker. The PS5 is bigger, slightly slower, and hard to fit in an entertainment center. I enjoy the look of the PS5 more, but the Series X is so much better next to a TV. Both of them are luckily quiet, and the PS5 doesn't have expandable storage yet, so it sounds like Xbox has it there. Although there might not be expandable storage on PS5, both systems let you use hard drives from last generations for the last generation games. But, I'm still gonna have to give it to the Series X though, just because of it being smaller and ever so slightly faster. Being mainly a Wii and Xbox 360 game collector, it's weird to have a Wii, Xbox 360, and an Xbox One all in the same compact entertainment center, so you know I love the Xbox 360 backwards compatibility. Not everything works, but the majority of it does, and that number continues to grow. Every game and accessory that worked on the Xbox One will work on the Series X, including games all the way down to the original Xbox system. Sony is not the best when it comes to backwards compatibility, though. Luckily, this generation, nearly all the PS4 games work on the PS5, but nothing else does. This makes it obvious that Xbox really does not care about what generations are anymore, rather an upgraded system. It's good to have a console that works with all these games, though, especially for an up-and-coming game collector. And because of this, the Series X takes it again. Wait a second, the Xbox Series X and PS5 are not only next-gen, but game consoles as well? Hold on a second. Oh yeah, they do play new games! Well, I guess we can go over that. The Xbox Series X and PS5 were both set to have games taking advantage of each console. Sony came out with Demon's Souls Remastered, Astro's Playroom, Miles Morales, and Bug Snacks, and near introduction of the PlayStation Plus collection. Xbox was set to release with Halo Infinite including multiple brand deals with foods, and having it directly on the Xbox box, but it was delayed indefinitely for a good reason. There's still third-party games out there like Call of Duty and Assassin's Creed, but you can get those games on either console. PS5 easily wins this because it just has games. Yes, this will always change and might swap sides at one point, but Microsoft literally has nothing right now. And the final category is the controllers. This has to be the tightest category yet. I love both the Xbox One and PS4 controllers for various reasons, so this will be difficult for me. I totally agree with PlayStation on trying to innovate. They added the touchpad and the camera tracked light. Xbox is amazing at custom controllers, durability, and how comfortable they are. So seeing the new generation of consoles was interesting. Sony went all out, including HD rumble better than the Switch, better durability, haptic triggers, and just an overall more comfortable controller with a high amount of attention to detail. It was surprising. Xbox did literally the exact same thing, because if it ain't broke, don't fix it, but I have to disagree. We need innovation. I love the Xbox One controller to death. I find it comfortable and perfect, but they stooped so low this time, where they still haven't even integrated a battery. A battery. This is 2020, not 2010. It's so cheap to get one, but they had to make the D-pad a circle instead. Granted, I haven't held either one. I'm referring to the previous gen and reviews. But at this point, it just feels like a slap in the face to anybody who wanted new features. It's Sony's point.
I want to discuss deeper into my mentality on both companies, and I want to start off with Sony first. Console Wars. They're stupid. But it's a thing. I don't encourage you to start a console war in the comments, this is purely my opinion, but that's what this video is here for. PlayStation as a brand is about moving gaming, pushing gaming, and revolutionizing it in a non-discreet way. Nintendo just does whatever they want and somehow does it perfectly every time, but Sony pushes new features at the price point they charge and the hardware they have. That's why PSVR exists, that's why the touchpad exists, that's why we have more consoles than just Nintendo. They started a console war and Microsoft didn't like what Sony was doing to their business, so they joined in as well. Sony is interested in pushing the market and doing it seamlessly, which is why I'm more interested in Sony the most this generation. Not only are they making amazing games, but amazing hardware and ways to experience those games as well. They are saying, screw last gen, how can we make right now feel better and for the future? And that type of mentality, at least for consoles, is what I enjoy. That's why I love Nintendo so much, because they care more about making games a more enjoyable experience for everybody. But this is where Microsoft stands. They don't believe in next gen, they believe in an upgrade. That sort of mentality is what's setting them back in my opinion. You can upgrade the controller yourself, but not every developer would use it because the previous generation of controllers still worked. You can upgrade the operating system, but previous consoles need that update too. You can upgrade the library of backwards compatible games, we have to make sure it's compatible with previous consoles as well. That sort of mentality is good for preserving games, yes, but bad at making new games. They are following what people currently want, and not what they want in order to innovate. They literally said they won't make a VR headset because not enough people want it. That might sound like a good business practice, but they aren't putting in that extra effort to make people want it. And that's what's getting to me. They are letting the preservation of old games get in the way of innovation. Also, a small comment, every game going to the Xbox Series X so far is coming to PC, and if not, the Xbox One. So for me at least, there's literally no reason to purchase an Xbox Series X unless I want that next generation feel, which Sony also provides. So yeah, PS5 won in my specific case. It makes sense for an up and coming game collector to get a Series X over a PS5, or for people who just want to enjoy a couple games. But it's time to see Xbox going the direction they went after a strong and promising start with Halo Combat Evolved. Again, this is just my opinion, but I'm still upset to see a big company like this I love go into the wrong direction.